So, what's up guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. It has been a little bit of a while since we've uploaded stuff. The main reason for that is because um, we just kind of wanted to pay respect for like the um, injustice that's going on in our country. Um, we felt like it wasn't our space to necessarily be uploading. Um, we have kind of been creative, but it has been cool to see the amount of photographers and artists and just people in general um, highlighting Black Lives Matter and donating and stuff. So we wanted to take a break for that. Um, but we did want to continue with our portrait series, so we chose to shoot with our friend Joe, who's a rapper, um, and we ended up getting a lot of good flicks. This was a spot that we had kind of been thinking about in the winter, and then drove by it and we're like, oh yo, we could shoot there. So we really liked the graffiti there. We really liked the train that went overhead, um, like in the background. And we really liked the time of day with the shadows. It was dope. Some photos I wanted to highlight that I really liked, the one where I was able to get the train in the background um, with like the bokeh effect. That was something that I did by just putting the camera on like a burst setting. The lighting was a little bit awkward because I did kind of get caught off guard. But at the end I thought that the edit and the motion um, and kind of like the focus really came out really well there. Right when we walked up we saw that there was like uh, somebody had like left a bookshelf. Um, almost had just like dumped a piece of furniture there. And so I said to Joe, I was like, hey, can you climb up on the bookshelf? Um, when he was up there, we were able to get a lot of footage, and I really liked the zoomed out pics that I got. I was using a 50 millimeter lens, so I basically went across the street. I was like 30 feet away from him. Um, but with that, I was able to kind of capture some of the graffiti. I was able to get the full fence with the barbed wire, and then I was able to get him on the bookshelf. Overall, there, there did end up being some struggles with this spot. We went at Golden Hour, which was cool um, and normally works for the photographer's favor, but I just ended up dealing with a lot of shadows. Um, yeah, that was kind of a struggle, and also I wanted to shoot under the platform kind of where the train goes by, and when I got over there, I, like, I had the picture in my mind, and as I kind of like lined him up and moved in and moved out, I ended up just not liking any of the photos. I ended up deleting a lot of them um, just because of the shadows and because of the colors and I guess what was in my head didn't end up translating to like what was re realistically there. We will be planning to upload a lot more. It looks like we're going to be doing a lot more collaborations. Um, I hope you guys are definitely staying safe with COVID. This year has been crazy. Um, Hopefully I'll get a cut next time. Make sure you guys subscribe below um, and turn on the notification bell just so you guys keep updated with uh, the content we got coming. But we're excited. We have a lot of plans and a lot of new ideas and um, cinematic type stuff that we're going to show you guys. So again, thank you for watching.